On April 7, 2012, the Tanzanian and global entertainment industry was shaken by the news of the death of Stephen Kanumba, widely regarded as Tanzania's and arguably East Africa's greatest actor ever. He passed away at the age of 28, just months before he was set to make his Hollywood film debut. <laughs> Elizabeth Michael, also known as Lulu, who was his 17 year old girlfriend at that time, faced manslaughter charges in relation to his death. According to Tanzanian law, it is a criminal offense for an adult to engage in a romantic relationship with a person under the age of 18. Sani wa filamu nchini Elizabeth Michael, maarufu kama Lulu, amefikishwa kwenye mahakama ya Hakimu Mkazi Kisutu jijini Dar es Salaam, kujibu mashtaka ya mauaji ya msanii mwenzake wa tasnia hiyo, Stephen Kanumba. Ni mdogo wa umri, lakini ni mkubwa wa mambo. Baada ya Kanumba, wangapi wameenda? Mimi nitaendelea kuwa mkimia, nitaendelea kunyamaza, nitapokea alawa mazote kwa mikono miwili, nitapokea shoot mazote kwa mikono miwili. So what caused Stephen Kanumba's death and why did Wema Sepetu decide to terminate the late actor's two pregnancies? Before we delve into the details, please like the video and subscribe to our YouTube channels if you haven't already. Now, let's get started. Bengi nata mchango wangu situonekana leo. Basi hata nitakapokuwa na misha kufa utaonekana. Awa hata udongo na miti vitasema. Stephen Charles Kanumba, commonly known as Stephen Kanumba, was born on January 8, 1984, to Charles Kanumba and Flora Mutegoa in the Shinyaga region of Tanzania. However, Charles Kanumba left the family when Stephen was still a toddler, leaving his mother to raise him and his three older sisters alone. Vipi labda mausiano yako na uyo baba hako? Tunaongea, mipigia simu, mipigia simu, nasaidia, pali napatokia cha kusaidia, mangu wa kambo pia wana msalimia, na wapenda na wabariki. Kiukweli. Stephen Kanumba's father passed away in 2020. From an early age, it was evident that he possessed a natural talent for the performing arts and occasionally acted in church productions. After completing high school, Kanumba decided to drop out to focus on his acting career. Stephen Kanumba began his professional acting career in Dar es Salaam in the late 1990s and quickly rose to fame in the early 2000s. In 2002, he joined a theater group known as Kaole Sana Group, which helped him make connections in the bongo film industry. He featured in television soap operas like Jahazi and Dira, and made his film acting debut in Haviliki, and by 2006, he was one of the most popular actors in Africa. Stephen Kanumba starred in numerous bongo and Nollywood films, frequently taking on leading roles. His performances were so exceptional that he earned the nicknames Kanumba the Great and the King of Bongo Movies. Some of his popular movies include Johari. She's My Sister, a film featuring both Tanzanian and Nigerian actors. Family Tears and Devil Kingdom, where he starred alongside the legendary Nigerian actor Ramsey Nod, to name a few. Not satisfied with solely being in front of the camera, Kanumba also ventured into directing. He directed several films demonstrating his talent both in front of and behind the camera. Additionally, he founded his film production company, Kanumba The Great Films. Moja katia vitu mbao vila lalamikiwa ni wewe kufanya kila kitu. Iyo vipi? Mi sizani kama ni tatizo kusababu. Kwa mwangalea lisho keys, ametunga ye mwenyewe, anapigia piano ye mwenyewe, na anaimba ye mwenyewe. Kwa nuku simuambi kwa nuku simpate mtungi na kupigia na ya kaini. In just 10 years, Kanumba transformed from an ordinary actor in Dar es Salaam to one of Africa's most sought after and highest paid actors, he became an ever-present figure in the media, owned some of the most expensive cars, and resided in luxurious mansions. In 2009, he was a special celebrity guest on Big Brother Africa 4. This landed him in trouble with fellow Tanzanians, as many felt he spoke broken English on the show and brought shame to his country, Tanzania. To be honest, I'm very disappointed. Very disappointed in all Tanzania. The way they talk about me, you know me, you know me. 
lakini namwachia Mungu yeye ndo anajua kila kitu wengine wamerekodi hadi matangazo kwa ajili ya kunichukana na mimi kwa ajili ya kunidhalilisha lakini wote nashukuru na namwachia Mungu <laughs> kama create maneno kwamba nilikuwa nazungumza hivi nazungumza hivi wamesema nazungumza broken english katika big brother sijui lakini nilijitahidi kadri ya uwezo wangu kuzungumza kile ambacho nakijua naipenda Tanzania ni nchi yangu na nitaendelea kuipenda na nitaendelea kufanya kila kila niwezalo kwa nafasi yangu ku promote nchi yangu promote sana yangu popote pale nilipo pengine hata mchango wangu sikuonekana leo basi hata nitakapokuwa nimeshakufa utaonekana au hata udongo na miti vitasema During his career Stephen Kanumba received numerous awards for his contribution to the Tanzanian film industry He stands out as one of the few African actors to have won nearly every award for which he was nominated Shortly before his death Kanumba was preparing for his first Hollywood role Kitu ambacho kingeweza kunionea kuzia furaha yangu kama nipata Natamani sana aone niende wote anatoka kwa Mungu. Mungu yeye ndo anajua hitaji langu na anajua hitaji la mama. Kwa yeye huwa achelewi wala huwa awai ila huwa anajibu wakati mwafaka. Hipo siku Mungu mama kama. Sasa siku unakwenda. Demo aina gani unapenda? Mimi kisha kwanza kwa Mungu. Yanao wana hofu na Mungu. Kanumba was known for keeping his personal life relatively private. In 2006, he began a romantic relationship with former Miss Tanzania and actress Wema Sepetu. Their relationship sadly ended in 2008 after the ex model aborted two pregnancies of Kanumba. <laughs> lakini vile nilipokuwa nimeenda kusafishwa yani kama vile kizazi changu kilikuwa kiko yani huwa unajua yani kwamba kiko kiko wazi kwa mtu ukitoka kusafishwa kwa sababu wazi kwa hiyo any time yani hivyo unashikata na kwa nikamzungumzia mtu ambaye anaitwa Wema Sepetu ni mahusiano ambayo alikuwa wazi sana na akawa anajulikana na watu wengi unayezungumziaje mahusiano yale ya ya yale mahusiano kweli yalikuepo na yaliisha mwaka 2008 na na Ah, sidhani kama naweza nikamlaumu yeye au yeye akanilaumu mimi bali naweza kusema haikumpendeza Mungu tuwe pamoja. Unaona? Hata kama labda watu wanasifia pengine labda it was a nice couple. Pengine ilikuwa ni, ni nzuri kwa macho ya nje, ilikuwa macho ya ndani haikumpendeza Mungu. Kwa hiyo akaisha mwaka 2008. According to Wema Sepetu, she chose to terminate the two pregnancies because she was afraid of how her parents would react given that she was still young. In an interview on her Wema app, the actress confessed that Steven Kanumba cast her womb. She mentioned that the deceased told her she would never conceive with another man. Wewe mwanamke na kudai na kudai watoto wangu wewe hutoweza kuja kupata mtoto na mwanamume mwingine yeyote yule said Wema. Years after Kanumba's death, the BT queen still struggles to get pregnant. There are allegations that Bongo Music superstar Diamond Platinums broke up with her because she could not conceive. After ending his relationship with Wema Sepetu, Steven Kanumba entered into a new relationship in 2012 with another well-known Tanzanian actress, Elizabeth Michael, who is popularly known as Lulu. At that time, Lulu was only 17 years old. Four months into the relationship on April 7, 2012, news broke that Steven Kanumba had died from a head injury after falling from his bedroom. The entire Tanzanian, East African and African entertainment industry came to a standstill. As the last person seen with Kanumba, Elizabeth Michael was arrested and remained in custody for almost a year during the investigation. In January 2013, Lulu was granted bail. In October 2017, she testified in Tanzania's High Court that on the night of Kanumba's death, the DC saw her talking on the phone, assumed she was conversing with another man, took her to his bedroom and began beating her with a sword while he was intoxicated. She also stated that she was not with Kanumba when he died because she had run away from the house. Lulu amesema marehemu alikuwa akimpiga na panga baada ya kutokea ugomvi uliotokana na wivu wa mapenzi alipomuona akiongea na simu. Mara nyingi alikuwa ananipiga kila akileo. Uwaga unapiga wanawake? Hapana. Sisi 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 kupiga. Sisi wanawake tumia hata kupigana tuna mwanamume zangu sija kupiga. But according to Kanumba's mother, Lulu was the cause of the toxic relationship between her and Kanumba. She stated that Lulu frequently cheated on Kanumba with other men. Kitu kilichotokea ni simu. Lulu alikuwa anaongea na mwanamume mwingine. Kanumba yuko ndani, amezina saa, Lulu yuko nje ta inawaka. Kwa hiyo Lulu akaanaongea na mwanamume mwingine anajiachia. Alivyoingia ndani, Kanumba akamzaidi. 
kama ulikuwa na mipango ya mwanamume mwingine ulikuja kwangu fanya nini mimi alivyoingia chumbani akichukua na kambini In the same year, Lulu's charges were changed from murder to involuntary manslaughter and she was sentenced to two years in prison. E katika mashtaka hayo Elizabeth adaiwa kumuua bila kukusudia msanii Kanumba April 7 nyumbani kwake Sinza Vatican jini Dar es Salaam. Later her sentence was adjusted from two years of imprisonment to community service and she was released from jail on May 12, 2018. Kanumba's mother was furious when Lulu was released from prison after serving only seven months. She believed Lulu should have been kept in jail for at least a year before being released. Yeye alimalizana na mahakama duniani. Basi lakini kwangu mimi bado ninadonda. Yeye baada ya Kanumba ametembea na wanaume wangapi? Wengi tu. Mimi nimepata mtoto mwingine. Kwa hiyo yeye ana raha, mimi na huzuni. Haya yote ni maisha. Kanumba was led to rest at Kinondoni Cemetery in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. About 30,000 people attended his funeral, including the former first lady of Tanzania, Salma Kikwete, the former vice president of Tanzania, Dr. Mohamed Gari Bitau, and the former minister of culture and sports Imalu Nchibi. Even the then president of Tanzania, President Jakaya Kikwete, cut short his trip abroad to attend the tribute to Stephen Kanumba. Despite the tragic end to his story, Stephen Kanumba's legacy lives on through his films and is remembered as one of the pioneers who made significant contributions to the growth of the Bongo movie industry. It is fair to say that the Bongo movie industry died with this death. Wa Kenya wana kumisi, wa Nigeria wamekumisi sana. Hakuna tena ubunifu. Hakika wewe ulikuwa ni muasisi wa filamu Tanzania. How do you remember Stephen Kanumba or what comes to mind when you think of him? Do you believe the Tanzanian film industry will ever see another actor as talented as Stephen Kanumba? Let us know in the comment section. Don't forget to follow us on TikTok and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Your support means the world to us. Stay safe and we will see you in our next upload. Bless. See?